Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and I'm really thrilled to be here with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've all enjoyed a wonderful sparkly Christmas. I certainly have and as part of my gift from Mama Magpie, I received this little bundle here. A little while ago, I also ordered from Timu, so I've got this unboxing to share with you as well. So we're going to enjoy all of the products and discover them together because I can't remember what's in this one. And although I did open the end, once I realised that this was a diamond painting gift, I decided to stop there and share my unboxing of a Christmas present with you all. <laughs> so we're going to start with this one. Pop that one to the side and straight away we can see that Mama Magpie bought me a couple of these magnifying sheets that she bought for herself and Anthea borrowed when we were in Whitby. So now I've got two of my own versions. So I hope you can see that there, how it magnifies. Um, so we've got a small A5 size and a larger, it's not quite A4, I would say it's a little bit smaller than A4. And you hand hold these to help diamond paint. So really clever, easy to use magnifying sheets. So that was part of the gift. I also received this in the package and these are non-slip pads put your trays and things on while you diamond paint. Oh. <laughs> I was opening the top <laughs> and they fell out the open side. Oh how silly. Anyway let's have a let's have a closer look. So we've got one is it one? Yes one two three four five six of the pads in all in all the rainbow colors and i have never seen these before peeling this back oh it's really really sticky so i'm not quite sure what you do with them do you just peel it back and lay your tray on it so it doesn't slide around is that the concept I'm not quite sure. Sticky pads. Let me know how you use yours if you've got any of these. They're really sticky as you can see from the protective cover. What do you do with that? I presumed it was something to sit your tray on, but they're so sticky, perhaps I'm wrong. Enlighten me if you will, if you know what those are for. back like that and the pack here we've got this one wants to be shown straight away we've got a little caddy here with what looks like different colored diamond painted waxes inside so lifting the catch a really cute little storage case with purple pink yellow blue and green waxes that's quite cute, isn't it? So they just look like normal waxes to use while you're diamond painting. And if you use them all up, you've then got a little caddy that you can keep things in because they're all segmented separately. So can you see there, you can take those out, make them the size that you'd prefer and use this as a storage. So really useful, cute little caddy, full of diamond painting wax. I am not sure where my mum got these from, so I will have to check with her and let you know if you're interested in getting these for yourself. I will find out. Okay, next, inside here, ooh, is... Ooh, a diamond painting pen. Have a look. What do we get in the pack? 
we get a beautiful green swirly pen. Is that blue or black? Can't quite tell in this light. Oh, it's green and purple. Green and purple glittery swirls. Don't know if you'll be able to see that easily. With a single placer end and a four placer end. Look at the design of this one. Really easy to hold, having the knob bit at the end here to place your fingers in. And on this side, a thinner place to put your fingers and place those diamonds. So a nice shape pen, this one. And I love that colorway. I really do love green. So the fact it's got those bits of purples in too, really lovely pen. And we do have some pink wax and some other tips in here. Open those out and we'll have a closer look. Two slabs of pink wax and we've got a, mm, I think that could be a seven and a nine perhaps. Might be bigger than a nine, that one and a shiver, which is really known as a straightener. So as you put your diamonds on the edge of your canvas, you can push them along to straighten them up. I call it a shiver. So there we are. Nice selection of tips with this pen. So lovely having surprises for Christmas and I hope that you were all surprised when you were opening your gifts too. Lovely pen that one, really nice. It's not heavy, it's a nice weight this one. It's a, I would say a medium weight. Ooh, lovely. Pop that back in there and we'll carry on opening the present. Oh, something else popped out here. Ooh, what could be in this lovely pink caddy here? Plastic caddy. Oh, it's another diamond pen. This time a swirly pink and white. Oh, that's nice. Can you see there um, how it swirls around inside? Really, really pretty see-through pen with the swirl. It's a bit like, um, there's a name for it in glass, isn't there? Where you get the spiral glass with all of the different colours in it. I can't think what it's called at the moment, but it reminds me very much of that. Again, a nice light to medium weight, this one, with easy to place your fingers on the ends of with those dips. Lovely. And we do get a selection of tips. So we have the single placer. We have the, what I call the claw end, which is the bent nose so that you can hold your pen at a different angle. Some people with dexterity problems find this tip a lot more comfortable to use being on that angle rather than straight. So we have the claw end, we have a three placer, another smaller shovel this time, a, hmm, I would say that's probably a six and that a nine, I would guess. So another lovely pen. I'm going to be filling up my lovely pen box with these pens once we've finished today's video. Now, let's have a look. Ooh, there's a diamond painting in here and this is the last thing in the package from Mama Magpie. Let's see what the picture is. I can see a lamppost here. Ooh. Love surprises. Ooh, what's it going to be? So we can already see it's a 30 by 40 kit. It has got 24 colours. There we can see the lamppost. 
Oh, it's the seaside scene. Let's have a closer look at the picture here. Oh, do you know what? Can you see there's a bank here? There's some steps or a road there. Got a little house here and a lamppost, then a shoreline in the distance with a pier. And do you know what it's reminding me of? Whitby. There's a certain view in Whitby and I think if it's not that, then it's very, very close to it. So now looking at the canvas laid down, not only do we have a house here, there are houses along and I think it is definitely the view from the top of 99 steps or at least maybe not the top, maybe as halfway up the 99 steps in Whitby. Oh, how fabulous. Oh, thank you, Mama Magpie. I love that. A really nice memento for when Anthea and I went to Whitby. Oh. So here we've got a basic toolkit with a green tray, pink wax, a diamond pen, and I can see there's a multi-placer pen in here as well. So let's have a look. We've got, again, it's like a three-placer and then a bigger one, maybe six. So a three and a six placer in the basic kit. And we have our diamonds with a picture. I'm gonna have a closer look. <gasps> look, the diamonds are already in their baggies. So no need to kit up this one if you don't want to. You can diamond paint from the packets. And I do like these information sheets. I find them really useful. So looking at this, we get another clearer photograph of the picture. You can see now those houses going down there and the pier in the background. There are 24 colours and it looks like it's a round kit. We've got one to eight and then alphabetical. We've got the number of the packet, the symbol, the DMC number, and then the weight of how many diamonds you get. So this sometimes does tell you the amount of diamonds. However, in this kit, it's the weight of the diamonds instead. So we've got all the packets here, as I say, already bagged. So if you wanted to, and I have done it before, and it was so easy to diamond paint from the packet. When it's a smaller diamond painting kit, I tend to do that. So really lovely blues. We've got browns, greys, peaches, terracottas, blues, turquoise, wow, and yellow, and some darker browns and tans. So as you can imagine for a kit like this, yellows, oranges, and blues, really, really cute. Oh, I love that idea. Thank you so much, Mum. Right, I'm going to package that back up a bit later because now we are going to crack open my very first Timu unboxing. As I said, it's a while ago. Oh. Um, it's a while ago since I ordered this package and I can't remember what is in it. <laughs> So we can discover it together. Just get my scissors to open it up. And let's see, what did I get? Okay, I'll have a delve, looky dip. Ah, now, I do remember getting another set of these wine glass charms. 
I did open these from another company and I really liked them and wanted some more because I can use those as decorations, as stickers, as tree hangings. So I did get these in a different unboxing. I will quickly show you, but if you want a more thorough look, have a look at that unboxing and I will link it in the eye. So to give you an idea very quickly of the designs, you get a gingerbread man, a snowman, a Santa, a candle, a wreath, a reindeer, a Santa hat and a gingerbread house in this kit and they are double sided. They're on a see through plastic and I just thought this kit was such good fun and like I say, really useful because you can use them as tags. You could put ribbon in the top of the loop to make them hanging tags. You could put them on as Christmas decorations using the wine glass charm fitting, all sorts of things. So yes, I did get myself another kit of those. So you can either be really well prepared for next Christmas, <laughs> or if, you're, if you haven't seen somebody yet and given them their Christmas gift, then you could get those as well and add it to them. Okay, so that was the first. What else did I get? Okay. Okay, I got a diamond painting kit. Move that to the side a bit while we open this out and discover what I chose. First time buying from Timu. It does take a while to navigate their site because there's such a lot on it and you're always bombarded with other offers as you're shopping. So yes, I did take quite a while having a look. And here is a dragon, which I really can't remember. <laughs> I have been looking for a dragon head for quite a while, so I probably spotted this one and thought, ooh, we'll try Timu. So we do get a basic diamond painting kit, green tray, pink wax and a diamond painting pen. No multi-placer in that pack. And let's have a look. So the, the picture is this dragon here. And I think it will have been all of the rainbow colours that attracted me to this dragon. Loving colour. So there are 19 colours in here and we can see there are mixed numbers and letters as symbols. I have to say that... Um, Dreamer Designs did bring out a rainbow dragon fairly recently and it's beautiful. So if you would like a rainbow dragon and would prefer um, a more expensive kit, then I would look at Dreamer Designs. Let's pull this back. However, if you're on a budget, this could be an option for you to do a rainbow dragon and not have to spend too much money on that. So you can see the colours, his sharp teeth here and his tongue, and then these colours cascading down his neck. Let's pull back this bit. It is a bit crumpled at the top, but not to worry. I would put this under my divan mattress flatten out a little bit before diamond painting and look at the edge this is a bit unusual having the patterned edge and it's actually really nice if you can get that nicely flat that could be the edge of your painting although you would have to try and get this off so hmm, perhaps not thinking about it it was a good idea if it, if this bit hadn't have been over the patterning, you could have framed it and that could have been like your mount at the side. Never mind. <laughs> so here are the symbols. Um, 
Now they do have circles around the symbols, which I'm not a massive fan of, because if you don't place it right in the middle, you can sometimes spot the outlining of the symbol circle. So there we are. Choice is yours, as I say. And they are quite, hmm, you would have to really, really scrunch your eyes up sometimes. I would say that in this area of the threes here, they are quite tricky to see because it is a dark background with a dark symbol. But then in other areas, they are easier, like the H's pop out because they're white and the sixes are easy to see but in other areas, less so. So depending on your eyesight, depends how clear you think those symbols are. But it is a budget buy, so again, the choice is yours. Let's have a look at the diamonds and how they come to us. They are in individual sealed packs. And if I turn it over to run through, we'll quickly run through the colours. As I say, round diamonds, the greys, greens, like a putty colour, blues, bright pink, a less like a dusky vintage pink, blue and a mint. Blue tan and green. So actually, I thought there'd be a lot more colourways in this. You do have some brights. At the end, the smallest amounts are the brights. And then the rest are more subtle and dark colours. But they will make those bright colours pop from the painting. So, yep, happy with that one. Let's see what else I got. Oh yes, yes, I remember these now as well. I thought these were really useful. These are stickers for diamond painting. Um, now, you can use these in different ways. I got two packs of these. I got a round version and a square Yes, they are squares. I know they look round on here, but I'll show you the stickers so that you can see. So we have got, look, when, when you peel them, they are rectangle squares here. So this is exactly the same as what you get in this kit, but they are round stickers instead. Now, what you can do with these ones is when you're kitting up, you can use these as your numbers. If you go by number, let me get a kit and show you. If you kit up according to the number of the packet, then you could use these on your storage boxes. And then you don't necessarily have to take those off when you're finished a kit, because you're always going to be using the numbers in the next kit etc also you have letters and you have the start of the colors all of the dmc colors here are on stickers now you could use these for your kitting up if you want to use the dmc numbers as the way that you kit up instead however I don't do either of those things. I always kit up by symbol. So the way that I would use these is for my, when I kit down and I keep my spare diamonds, I keep them in files. And I wanted some stickers to use in my files to match the colorway. And I thought these would be brilliant for that because every DMC color has its own sticker. So that's what I'm going to use it for. And I do keep my squares. I've started keeping my rounds because when I kept my squares, it was purely to do my own charting 
making my own chart and using the squares, my leftover squares for those. And I didn't do that with rounds because when I print off my own chart, it's more difficult to use rounds and not see the grid underneath. I did do a video about how to make your own chart quite a long time ago. I am thinking about remaking that video and making it a lot clearer now that I'm more used to recording and explaining things to you all. So I may well make that video again, but in the meantime, again, I will link it in the eye and you can see what I mean about using squares. So I did buy the round version. I may well use that for kitting up sometimes and I may well use it on my storage depending on how many rounds I end up keeping. So that was my next purchase and I'm really happy with those. I think they are great to have and really useful for either kitting up, as I say, or for keeping your leftovers. Nice to have a few posh stickers with all of the colours on. And there's no way that I would have tried to make my own in those because to try and find all that colour and match them up with the numbers, etc., would take so much work to do. So, that's those. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, it looks like two more kits. Oh, yes. Oh yes, I remember this one now. And again, it's a Christmassy one, so you may want to get organized in time for next year. <laughs> but this one looked so cute. Look at that. Now this one is a special shape diamond painting and it's a wreath shape, but it's got all of these details in the wreath itself. We've got bells, we've got baubles, we've got little birds, drum. Oh, it's so lovely. So I thought this would be great to diamond paint with the special shapes and then try and cut round and maybe mount it onto a piece of card or something like that, cut the centre out, and then you would always be able to display this I've got a wooden dresser in the house and I just thought if I could hang it with a ribbon off my dresser, it would look so sweet. And because it's got the drums and the little bird and the stars, I thought it's really nostalgic. The design is so gorgeous. Again, we get the basic toolkit with this one and we get a selection of diamonds. Let's have a look. already see these big crystal blue faceted diamonds and I think they are going to be in these big circles yep number eight so they're going to really pop from the wreath there gorgeous let's see number one is a gold crystal and because they're crystals they're going to really sparkle off the page so we've got a gold we've got a pink crystal we've got a turquoise crystal and look we've got a green teardrop really sweet crystal that one we've got a gold metallic stud we have a red big circle and we've got gold stars. Oh, how fabulous. So the stars will be easy to spot on here. Number sevens, look at those. And the red is number six. So we're going to have the big red number sixes. So we'll have the eights there. The reds there, the stars. Number five is the stud. Let's see if we can find some of those. Oh, they're in the bells. The dong of the bell is going to be a gold stud. These teardrop shapes. 
are dotted all around the wreath with all of the crystals interspersed. Isn't that pretty? I love that, really pleased. And although Christmas is nearly over, <laughs> yeah, so that's a lovely kit, really nice. And I'm pleased I've got that in time for next year. Fabulous, right. Another diamond painting kit here. Let's see what I choose for this one. A 30 by 40. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> now, isn't he handsome? Wow, what a beautiful white reindeer with the swirls of the leaves and the forest either side. Oh, standing so proud with that curly mane. Really beautiful picture, this one, and quite pastely at the sides in the leaves by the looks of it. Here's the picture itself. Wow. And then we've got 25 colours in this one. Again, with numbers and letters as the symbols and the DMC codes at the side. And it is left and right on the legend. We get a basic tool kit. Oh, we get baggies in this one as well. So again, a round diamond painting kit. Now, I have to say at this point, did you see a spring bearer from Diamond Art Club? Oh, wow, what a beautiful diamond painting absolutely stunning and although I have bought some Black Friday deals and here's my Mahusu box to prove it <laughs> I will be doing an unboxing at some point of the kits that I chose that day I didn't get a chance to get spring bearer boohoo I wasn't quick enough so I think I might have had this already ordered from Timu so yeah it's a win-win isn't it everybody if you've got spring bearer well done you please let me know how you get on with that kit this one for me is like a budget option although you don't have those gorgeous animals on the right hand side you still have a beautiful stag on this picture let's have a look at the diamonds You can't really compare a Diamond Art Club kit with a budget kit because we know that the diamonds are not going to be a high quality or the canvas, but it's still a good option if you are budget wise. Okay, we have got sort of earthy colours in this kit, with peaches, blues, greys, very subtle greeny greys going along again in the cell in the sealed packets these ones very very earthy tones in here so i think it's going to be a very subtle diamond painting now what color is that t 21 370 3770 so it's not going to be white actually it's going to be more pinky <laughs> I thought I was going to have a white for him hmm, I might when I come to do this kit I might change that color way out and make it a little bit more to the front maybe more creamy white for me the other color is J948 Yeah, so again, it's going to be a blend of those two colours. Yeah, I would definitely swap that out if it were me and do him a creamy white colour. So there we have it for that one though. Ooh, my table's getting so full. Now I think we've got one more thing in the packet. 
and it's nothing to do with diamond painting. <laughs> Here we've got some self-awareness cards and I thought these were so pretty. Now you may not be into um, oracle cards and things like that, but let me just quickly show you what these are about. And it says on the box, I love feathers by the way. So this pack really just spoke to me when I saw it and it's called Soul Truth Self-Awareness Card Deck. Daily questions that will transform your life. Ooh. <laughs> and on the back, self-awareness is a beautiful thing. Your soul knows what you want and has the map to get there. If you ask your soul the right questions, Openly listen and take soul-driven, inspired action and you can and will transform your life forever. Soul Truth taps into your inner wisdom and gives you pure spiritual guidance to unleash your potential and courageously live your soul's sacred purpose. What is your soul's truth? Oh, I love those words. So it's a bit like using your intuition, but these are to help you with that. If I can get this pack open without spoiling the box. Right, let's have a little look. So these are really nice glossy cards. And I'll just take the top one as an example. What am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me. Interesting. And then on the other side, it's got an action. So are you waiting on someone else before you can take a big leap? What if you were to take life into your hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it scared, take the leap. Now, being a Libra, <laughs> I find decision making can take quite a while, but I need to sometimes remind myself that no decision is a wrong decision. At least you are making your mind up. And sometimes I need to tell myself that. Today's action, no more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you are really made of. Wild soul, strong heart, can't lose. So if I read that on a really indecisive day, it would help me to feel courageous enough to make a decision, any decision, and move forward. So that's what these cards are about. I think they are beautiful. Feathers on them. So ooh, they're quite slippy. I would probably have to shuffle them for a little while. I'll pick one out for everybody today and let's see what it says. Let's see what today's message is for us. And I may well do this in another video, another whip and chat or something to give you all a daily message. We'll see. How can I deepen my trust right now? Isn't that a pretty card? Trust, surrender, let go of the wheel. You can trust, you can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. So today's soul action, let go and trust. Today, find your centre in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others. There we are. So really love those, really love everything I've actually opened today in different ways. So let's get it all back on the table. Look at everything. <laughs> wow, wow, I've got another table full of pure delight and joy here. So thank you so much for joining me today. It's so long since I've done an unboxing. So I have really enjoyed sharing this haul and one of my Christmas presents from Mama Magpie with you all. And I really do hope that you had a 
fabulous festive season and I hope that you'll join me again. As I said, I've got Diamond Art Club kits, Oraloa, all sorts of things that I've been up to and for 2024, I may well be doing some cross stitch videos as well, starting my own floss tube as well. So watch this space, everyone. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate each and every one for all of your messages while I've not been very well. And I hope to get out more videos going forward in 2024. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone, and enjoy your own diamond painting. Bye for now.